Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. So nice to have you on board today for the next 30 minutes here on the amazing Pilates and yoga mat. So today's class was requested by a few of you who were hoping to do a sort of vinyasa flow or yoga class. I have been practicing yoga um, for many, many, many years since I was 13. I did start with Iyengar and have done everything in between. I was a little bit worried about doing this one, but what doesn't kill us makes us stronger. So guys, we are going to start today in a nice cross-legged position. And I want to start today's class off with uh, Guyan mudra or chin mudra so you're just going to grab onto your index and thumb as you can see i want you guys to close the eyes and we're just going to very simply start by breathing in through the nose and then it's your choice if you want to breathe out through the nose or out through the mouth depending on how you're feeling today just regenerating some energy here starting from our root chakra and working our way up to the crown chakra moving through the seven points of the body good guys and as you breathe here for about one to two minutes i want you to really soften the breath listen to the breath and allow that universal life force to flow through every cell of the body yeah? through every atom through every molecule that makes you you yeah guys allowing the shoulders to release down relaxing the ears relaxing the face relaxing the third eye as you take this time out to focus on the most important thing, which is, of course, the breath. Good. And if it's weird holding onto that mudra, you can also just allow the fingertips to open, the palms to reach up to the sky as you allow that universal life force to flow in through the body. Good. Really thanking yourself for being here today. Thanking yourself for your breath. Maybe taking a moment of gratitude to really, yeah, just thank yourself that you're here. You've decided you've committed yourself for the next 30 minutes. Well done, guys. Let's just rub the arms to begin with, or the hands, coming into our namaste or prayer position. And I want us just to feel that warmth in between the fingertips, in between the palms, as we just grab onto a chin lock and start with a nice, big, deep inhale, moving for an arm, inhaling through the nose. Nice, everybody. All right, so hopefully feeling nice and grounded here. Let's take our palms to the side, right and left, just creating a nice energy there, reaching those hands up to the sky. And exhale, pranayama. Moving to the third eye. Thank you so much, guys, for being here today. I would say let's get straight into it. So as I said, today's class is a nice flow class. It is a little bit Ashtanga inspired. We're going to start with a set of five Serena Mascara, starting with our Serena Mascara A today, coming to the front of our mat. We're going to inhale, reach the arms above our head. With our exhale, bending forward, reaching those fingertips towards the floor with a nice big inhale, reaching the chin, chest, body forward. Inhale, either jumping or stepping back, yeah? Coming into your chandar, Chaturanga Dandasana on the knees or full Chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing dog. With your downward facing dog, you're just going to press the heels back, moving into your first downward dog for today's class, yeah? Good. Making sure those heels are pressing nice and deep into the earth. You're opening up through the back of the legs, inhaling through the nose and exhaling, finding that work there, Muliyana Bandha, connecting into the core. Nice, guys. You're inhaling here about each asana today, five breaths, four to five breaths. Opening up through the base of the spine. Good. Keep breathing, guys. Inhaling through the nose. Exhaling through the mouth. And then with your next exhale, we're going to walk or jump the feet forward. Inhale. Exhale. Chin to chest. Pulling yourself forward. And then reaching the arms to the side. Nice big reach towards the ceiling. And with your exhale, moving down in line with your body. Second set. Inhale to reach. Exhale. Inhale. And exhale, jumping or stepping back, Chaturanga Dandasana. Inhale, reaching the chest forward. 
opening up the heart center and exhale beautiful guys and you're just pulling that chin again into the chest if you feel like paddling through the feet here as i'm showing a couple of times eight nine ten seven whatever's feeling good opening up those hips allowing yourself to really walk through the back of the legs well done guys and then holding out your downward dog good you want to reach the sit bones nice and high to the ceiling allow that chin to pull in towards the chest good and again connecting there through the core so you really want to pull that bandha the muriana bandha in yeah towards the back of the spine i'm showing something that a lot of dancers perhaps are doing we want to really connect those ribs and pull them in really connecting there through that core and then with your next inhale jumping forward or stepping forward inhale exhale forward bend inhale reaching the arms to the side and reaching nice and tall good final third serena mascara a inhale shut exhale inhale exhale jumping or stepping back inhale upward facing dog exhale downward facing dog breathing Good. Exhale. Press the palms away from the heels. Connect through that core. You want to pull the Muriya Bandha in nice and deep there. I'm grabbing onto that chin lock. Connecting there through the throat chakra. Nice, guys. Breathing. Exhale. Good. On the next inhale, we're going to jump or step the feet forward. Good. Inhale, reaching the chest forward. Exhale to bend. And inhale, coming back to standing. Good. Serena Mascara A coming up now, guys. Moving into Utkatasana. We're going to bend the knees. Inhale, reach the arms above head. Exhale, dropping forward. Inhale, reaching the chest, neck, and body forward. Exhale, jumping back. Chaturanga Dandasana. Inhale, chest reaches forward, opening up through the heart center. Exhale, exhale, walking back, guys. We're going to turn the right toes, left toes reach forward. Inhale, Virabhadrasana one. Exhale, Chaturanga Dandasana. Upward facing dog coming up. Exhale, downward facing dog. Second side, guys. Right leg reaches forward. Virabhadrasana one. Left heel reaching back. Exhale. Chaturanga Dandasana. Inhale. Looking up. And exhale. Pressing back. Downward facing dog. Breathing for five. Good, guys. And breathing through that drishti. That could be the base of the pelvis chin to the chest maybe looking between the feet please do not allow yourself to lower into that upper back so we don't want to go into any upper back extension here we want to keep that nice and long as i just showed if you will guys want to bend the knees completely fine bending the knees inhale jumping forward exhale looking down inhale bending the knees Utkatanarasana. and exhale our final one coming up guys Bending the knees. Inhale, reach. Exhale, drop. Inhale, reach. Exhale, jumping or stepping back. Chaturanga Dandasana. Inhale, reaching the chest up. Exhale, pressing back. Downward facing dog. Udvadanarasana, one. Inhale, reaching up. Exhale, reaching back. Virabhadrasana two. Inhale, reaching up. And exhale, reaching back. Chaturanga Dandasana. Inhale, reach your chest forward. And exhale, final downward dog coming up. Nice, guys. Again, breathing in through the nose. And out through the mouth. Good, in through the nose, and out through the mouth. If you are used to doing an ujjayi breath and just breathing in and out of the nose, and you're quite familiar with that, 
creating that energy you can also choose that breath at any moment inhale reaching forward and exhale bending inhale utkatana rasana and exhale nice guys so just allowing now the feet to reach out we're going to inhale looking to the ceiling parangushtasana grabbing onto the big toes we're going to reach the chest forward and exhale allow the chin chest neck head shoulders to release moving into our first forward bend here and the drishti here is nasaka or the nose so your focus there is on that bandha connecting there inhaling and coming back to the breath exhale in our reaching up hands under the feet parantastana and then allowing the hands to pull you down opening the upper back allowing the chest to open allowing the chin to pull in towards the chest keep breathing guys inhale and exhale last breath inhale looking forward exhale allow the hands to come out hands to the hips and then rolling up through the spine bring the feet together guys inhale and we're going to drop the right foot back the left leg is going to reach out trikonasana dandasana reaching that chest forward down towards the ankle the right hand reaches towards the sky triangle posture utita trikonasana extended triangle again if you are a little bit more flexible taking those fingertips down towards the feet making sure that that hip is really opening to the front of the room or to the front of the camera yeah you want to find the drishti there of your hand hastakraya second side guys trikonasana dandasana inhale exhale allow those ribs to spread out good you feeling that reach there through the fingertips good again if you are moving down you're a little bit more flexible as i'm showing do not allow that hip to drop down you really want to open up there through the pelvis through the body through the chest yeah nice guys breathing five inhale exhale reverse trikonasana let's turn to the front right arm reaches up we move that right palm to the outside of the left foot we twist through the spine we reach those left fingertips nice and high towards the sky opening through the upper back opening through the lower back allowing yourself to really twist there extending through the spine breathing in through the nose and out through the mouth yeah good guys keep breathing there nice let's come back up inhale exhale second side five breathing exhale inhale exhale looking down nice guys coming back to the front of your mat with a nice big inhale reaching the palms together and release beautiful guys now moving back into our utita pajva konasana we're going to bend the front leg the left arm reaches down the right palm is going to reach up and above the head we're really extending that top palm drishti is the hand or the intense side angle position here we're breathing and lengthening out through that hip as we extend up to the sky reaching that chest long inhaling five breathings exhale inhale exhale last breath guys inhale exhale looking down reaching up and changing side simply inhale hand is going to come down in line with that foot top arm reaches above the head and you want to pull into that nice 45 degree angle here really reaching from the ting fingertips all the way down to the tippy toes pressing the outside of that foot down into the earth inhale two more breaths guys exhale reaching down coming back up and moving to the front of your mat with a nice big inhale nice guys moving into prasarita pan paratadasana <laughs> a 
extended intense wide leg we're going to reach the head up and with our exhale hands coming down just under our shoulders inhale to reach forward exhale to drop the head the crown chakra down towards the earth you're opening up the upper back allow those fingertips to spread as wide of the feet pressing those heels down balls of the feet press into the floor allow those hips to really open extending through the sit bones opening up the upper back lower back chest Five breathings, guys. Inhale. Nice, guys. Last breath. Inhale, reaching forward. Exhale, hands to hips. And coming up. We're going to go for our second set. Now we're going to reach the arms again. Inhale. Exhale, hands to hips. Inhale, reaching the chest up grabbing the tippy toes grabbing the outside of the foot or the pistol grip here we're going to inhale same exhale extended intense wide leg stretch moving forward opening up those elbows to the side again creating space in the upper back in the lower back allowing the hips to really spread sit bones wide pressing the feet down pulling those kneecaps nice and high up into those hips breathing guys five breathing Last breath, inhale up and exhale, hands to hips, rolling up through the spine, palms to our T position, coming to the front of our mat with a nice big inhale, stepping or jumping forward. Well done, guys. Let's move now into Arabada. And so I want you guys to bring the feet here together. We're going to start with our left foot and we're going to bring it into a half lotus position. So there's a few options here. You guys can just hang out here at the top either grabbing onto that foot from behind binding inhale to reach and um, with your neck with your next exhale you're going to bend forward yeah this is quite an intense posture so if you're really not feeling this just finding the half lotus it doesn't have to be bound today that's something you can work towards step by step yeah you want to keep breathing the thing that is going to help you get into any of these postures is with the exertion to breathe out and inhale to find the calm space the breath the body good inhale if you are down bending the knee exhale to come up nice guys and let's unbound or unbind that foot nice let's go for our second side nice big inhale either interlacing or binding the hand from behind grabbing onto the foot staying here or reaching that arm up to the ceiling exhale bending forward forward bend Release the chest, release the upper back. Allow yourself to bend forward. Breathing, five breathings, guys. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Nice, guys. Reaching forward. Coming up. And allowing yourself to come out of that one. Well done, guys. Beautiful. Let's move to the front of our mat. Moving into Serena Mascara. One more time. Inhale. Exhale, bending forward. Inhale, reaching the chest nice and far towards the front of your mat. Exhale, jumping or stepping back. Chaturanga Dandasana. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Nice, guys. So now, guys, moving into reverse warrior or Virabhadrasana reverse, I would like you to reach the top hand forward and up and moving into a nice back bend here, allowing the chest to really open. You want to spread the fingertips long and wide, allow yourself to really sink down into the hips. Knee should be at a 90 degree angle here. You guys are breathing nice and wide, opening up the heart center. Inhale, five breathings. With your next exhale, let's simply change sides. Coming up inhale exhale bending that front knee allowing yourself to drop the back hand reaching the palm up towards the ceiling and exhale moving into that back bend there well done guys you're breathing for five nice guys breathe three two one coming up well done guys again jumping or stepping forward coming to the front of your mat 
nice and let's release or relax well done guys if you need a quick break now take a break and then come back or just following me down to our seated position moving straight up and into dan dasana so soft pose here hands are reaching behind you you're opening up the chest opening up the back looking to that third eye drishti there is the nose you're pulling mulya narmanda in closing those ribs finding that discipline there inhaling through the nose and exhaling out through the mouth five breaths guys inhale exhale finding that stillness that calm nice guys so moving on from here into paschimottanasana a b and c i want you to reach the chest forward with your exhale moving into your first forward bend as you can see i'm grabbing that pistol grip onto the big toes allowing the chest to release allowing the upper back to release moving into that nice stretch there of the back of the legs keeping that muliana banda that pelvic floor engaged upper back is releasing opening up there through the shoulder girdle inhaling exhaling Pashimottanasana, B, grabbing onto the outside of the foot. Inhale to reach forward, exhale to drop down. Five breathings. Nice. And our final Paschimottanasana. If this one is too much and you're not able to grab onto the wrist, that's completely fine. Just moving as far forward as you can, even if that is onto the shin bone, the ankle, the toes, the, sh um, the hips, I don't know. Wherever you are at today is completely fine. I, I want you guys to work with the breath, yeah? Remember, this is life force. This is the most important thing we have. Well done, guys. Keep breathing. In through the nose and out through the mouth. Good. Let's roll up through the spine. And then moving into Purvatanasana, taking the hands behind your body. You're going to find your Drishti point, which again is the third eye. Yeah. I want you guys to press the hips nice and high up towards the sky. Third eye or nose. Good, guys. Allow the hips to really reach up, spreading those sit bones together. Inhale, exhale, reaching down. Nice, guys. Well done. Just releasing everything there for a second. So moving into a little mobilization now for the hips. I just want you guys to cradle. It doesn't really matter right or left foot, right or left knee. And just allow that hip to open here as we move from side to side, really opening up there through that front hip. If you are a little bit more flexible, allowing that foot to reach up to the ceiling, exhale, bending the knee, inhale to extend, exhale to bend, yeah? Good. Moving into a little bit of a twist here. So there's two options, that right foot or that left foot, whichever one is in front, can either stay in front or move over, as you can see that I've done here. You want to interlace that elbow around the knee and just pull across. So you're feeling a beautiful stretch there through the ITB band as you find that twist there, looking over the back shoulder, in this case, my right shoulder. Good, really sitting nice and tall up there through the sit bones to the crown of the head, inhaling and of course exhaling. Well done. Nice guys, let's change sides. Before I do that though, just make sure or take a little time out to see if there's any difference there in the hips and let's move straight for that second side. So again, interlacing those hands, maybe interlacing those hands onto that foot, choosing what is the best option for you, right and left with those hips, up and down towards the ceiling exhale inhale extend well done guys finding that nice stretch there and then let's take that foot either in front or across your choice grabbing onto that knee well done giving yourself a nice hug reaching up through the crown of the head pressing those sit bones down towards the earth finding that nice spinal twist continue to breathe guys yeah, opening up there through the hips opening up there through the itb band well done. Sacriliac joint getting a nice opening. Well done, guys. And then just releasing that, pressing the feet forward, allowing yourself a little bit of relaxation time. And then I want us to bring the soles of the feet together, moving into Bakasana. 
Yeah, I want you guys to allow the knees to drop down. Think of this as the Schmetterling's pose or a butterfly pose as you drop the chin to the chest and allow yourself to reach forward, allowing those hips to really open, the knees to soften. And I want this one to be nice and soft, so I don't mind if the knees are really up, if they're a little bit further down, like mine, if they're completely on the floor. Again, this is your time to focus on your breath, to allow the muscles to release, to allow everything just to surrender in this moment, in, in this given moment where you are. I want you guys to just breathe, really connect. Nice, guys. Let's roll up through the spine and slowly bring those knees back towards one another, slowly but surely. Nice, guys. And let's move down now onto our upper back, just pulling those knees into our chest. I want us to drop the feet down and before we move anywhere, just taking those hips from side to side, moving for a little bit of a hip roll here from one side to the other side. Well done. Giving yourself a nice relaxation here. Good, guys. And then what we're going to do is extend that left leg down, pull that right knee in towards the chest. So there are a few options here. You can either move into a half happy baby, I would say, getting that little bit of hip open in there or moving into a full hamstring stretch here. So grabbing onto that pistol grip again, the foot, and maybe moving into an extended supta pangas, pangustasana, sorry guys, A, so grabbing onto the toes, perhaps locking onto that knee coming up or relaxing the head down, completely your choice here. Inhale, exhale, relax the head down if you were up. Good guys. And then moving into our Supta Padangustasana B. Gaze moving off to your far left side. You really want to open that left hip. Do not allow that hip to move over to the right. You are pressing both hips down into the floor. Well done, guys. Coming back, inhale, grabbing onto the foot, exhale. Increasing that stretch. And then allowing that leg to pull back in and simply changing sides nice and easily well done guys pulling that left knee in towards you now same same but different let's go for that half happy baby <laughs> if this is fine for you staying here or extending those left toes up grabbing onto that pistol grip inhale exhale supta padangustasana a sleepy big toe chin lock five breathings guys if you want to relax the head down completely fine Moving that head down to the floor if you are not already there and allowing us to move into Supta Padangustasana B. Gaze is now over the right shoulder. Good. As you can see, we do not want to move that right hip away from the floor, pressing those sit bones down into the earth. Well done, guys. Inhale to come back and exhale. Taking a very small Shavasana, couple of breaths, and then moving into our first sequences of Udva Dhanarasana. So today I'm going to do three sequences. I got a little bit excited with this advanced practice. So the first one is a simple one. I want you guys to lift the hips up, press the feet down and allow yourself to move into the first back bend for today. Yeah, wheel pose coming up. So take the first one nice and simply guys, no stress here. But really press those hips up. Yeah, most important thing is to remember that the knees, hips and feet must be in one line. Well done, guys. Breathing here, inhaling five breaths and exhale, relax and release. Good. So you can do this a couple more times, so two more times, or you can move with me now for the full Udvananarasana. So you can move the feet a little bit closer and the hands are going to come back next to the head. Coming onto the crown of your head, inhale. With your next exhale, of course, you're going to press up. Allow the chest to reach up. So this is a really strengthening posture for the chest, for the back, for the hips. If you're really not ready for this one today, guys, build it up slowly. There's always time. No stress. Good, guys. Five breaths here. Yeah. Really allow those hips to press. Imagine I've got my hands on your hips and you're pressing up towards the ceiling. Inhale with your next exhale, allowing yourself to drop back down. Standing back bend, guys. So this one is for those of you who have been practicing for a while. As I said, I got very excited. So standing up, you're going to reach the palms towards the ceiling. Nice big inhale, opening, 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 allowing the hips to press up, the feet to press down, slowly allowing yourself to drop back. Well done, guys. Inhaling, exhale. Keep working with the breath. A very strong breath now, guys. Inhale, exhale. On your next exhale, you're going to come up <laughs> and not fall over. Well done, guys. Well, if you tried, you tried. 
Let's move forward, guys. Pashimottanasana, just to release and relax the back again. Not an easy one. Well done, guys. If you did try it out today. That one can also be taken very slowly on the wall if you are a yogi, somebody who likes to practice. Um, yeah, just write me and we can work on a plan for you to get down there. No stress at all, guys. As we continue to keep breathing, relaxing, releasing. Nice, everyone. And then slowly but surely rolling up, feeling the body, feeling the breath. Well done, guys. Good job. All right, let's turn around and come onto our sits bones, just moving onto our cross leg position. Or if you've been practicing for a while and you're feeling pretty confident and you can move into Bada Padmasana, Bound Lotus, as I'm showing, please feel free to do so. That takes years, guys, so really step by step, yeah? I want us to connect again to Muriana Banda. So we're going for our sequence now of 10 breaths, 10 slow breaths, finding our drishti nose, you can choose to close the eyes. I want us to inhale through the nose and out through the nose. Good guys, nice big deep inhales and exhales, 10 deep breaths, yeah, just connecting to energy, to life force. The root chakra activating. Nice guys, and I really want to hear that breath. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Good. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Nice, guys. Opening up the eyes. Either staying there or coming into Utpluti for 10 breaths. Lifting the pelvis off the floor. Nice, guys. Almost there. Keep breathing. Keep lifting, lifting, lifting. And relax. Well done, everybody. Thank you so much for joining me. Let's bring our palms to our chest. From third eye to our heart chakra. Nice big inhale to finish off today's practice. Exhale. And to finish off a simple om in through the nose. coming back to your breath normal breathing well done everybody and then slowly coming back to your body slowly coming back to your mat thanking yourself for being here today for taking the time out with me here it was a little bit scary for me to share this little knowledge I have of my yoga practice as I said I was I wouldn't really consider myself a yoga teacher, however, I would like to share this with you guys. So thank you for trusting in me. Thank you for being here today. And I hope you could enjoy the journey as well. Maybe it was a little bit intense. Maybe it was fun. Maybe it wasn't so fun. <laughs> Maybe you won't be back. <laughs> Whatever it was, I want to say thank you from the bottom of my heart for being here during this time, sharing this space with me and for trusting me. Namaste. Thank you, guys. So welcome back. I hope that was a great practice for you, and I hope you could enjoy. As always, I look forward to the next classes with you guys. And um, as always, check out my channel, subscribe, hit like. If you feel like somebody could benefit from this workout, I would be happy if you shared it with them. As always, my details are in the description box below. Feel free to check out my other channels and my website. Sorry, not my website, my email, which is above for all those private classes, live classes, which are happening. Until then, guys. See you next time and be safe and well. Bye.